Sunday and we just came out of church again we were running late and when it was time to go to church it was raining really hard but we had to just go I think it's one of the sacrifices here you have to make for church and everything and service was good right now what is our same routine granite in the market I think I might buy something to make food I'm so hungry but happy Sunday tomorrow is our pastor's wife's Birthday, so this is happy birthday, Mama Pastor Mrs. Peace Ibiomie. Yeah, I think this is my own birthday shout out to her. I'm pretty sure by the time I upload this, it will already be like three days after. But <laughs> <laughs> happy Sunday, and let's do this. I think it's time for for a fun game of let's count the math people. The amount of math people on the road. Seen three already. Not, no four. We just saw one person. I don't know, so like I don't. They're pretty sure by very soon they start having an association and. This dread dress I'm wearing is just a coincidence. I just thought you were like a buy chicken pie. Chicken pie and moi moi. I was just craving that. Uh, yeah. And the rain they really messed up this Sunday. Not really. I was able to go to church as it was born and And in church they were taught about, Papa preached about gratitude. You know how a lot of people, a lot of us, like, let's just forget about God or something. Let's talk about, let's talk about reality. A lot of us can be very ungrateful. Like a lot of people can be very ungrateful. Do you, you know? Like we we forget the little things that God has done for us. We forget like even when normal human beings do something for us, well, some people can be so ungrateful. I'm not one of them actually. I'm actually somebody that thanks you. I always tell tell people thank you. So if I see me and my relationship with God and everything, I thank God for every single moment. Even when I even when I don't have like food to eat or I don't have any money in my account, I don't even have money to make my hair or something. I always just thank God because I think as long as there's life there's hope and that's what Papa already preached today in church. And even after his preaching I came to realize that there are a lot of things that I still am not even thankful enough to God for. Although every single day of my life I make it a goal to always thank God like when I'm sitting down wherever whatever I'm doing if I'm writing and my pen stops writing, I thank God. There's so many little things I thank God for. People will actually feel like I overdo it, but I think we need to make a habit to always be thankful to God. We don't really have to shout, thank you Jesus every day, thank you God every time. It's just something that in our own, within ourselves, like at our lowest, or when we're so quiet and not saying any word, just thank God for waking you up in the morning. Thank God that you live in a country where there's no war. You live in a state in Nigeria where Boko Haram people are not staying. You, you're like the 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 military people now. They are bombing everywhere. They've not bombed where you are. You you, you wake up in the morning. You have you can there's running water. You put on your shower. You have a bucket to have your bath. So many things you have. So those are a lot of things to be thankful for because there's somebody there, out there, that it is way worse for the person. Just, I think um, we know what I learned from today's preaching, the preaching is just to live every day being grateful to God, to the life we have, to the people around us. Yeah. Wait, do they write chicken? I'm gonna ask you questions. That my sister. Why did you come there? I'm gonna ask them there. How they write chicken here in this place? Did you see any poultry there, Jojo? I saw a chicken pass. Chicken? The chicken came out from outside. I don't see that we live in the, this part of town. It's like a village. So some one chicken, nobody's chicken is always one food. We have wanderers, chicken wanderers, so they are just trolling. If they have chicken, the chicken won't come out. That's how they raise chicken. They keep them in their poultry, they put lights and everything, keep their feed, their food there. One chicken mama has a poultry self. I don't know how they do that in a lot of people can host Zulu. <laughs> I don't even see myself doing that. Again. Like that, those are like chicken, a poultry, there's you make a lot of money, but I can't run like I don't think I can, I can open and have a poultry and a fish farm, catfish. The whole house will be smelling, the whole compound in fact. Oh, you know, if that chick just threw into that place, helicopter. Come on, I just catch it and I was like, I hate that. 
So I left Munachia Mama the video. I was at Gary Jojo today because I didn't have strength to come up very far. So I was craving Moi Moi from Chicken Republic and their chicken pie. The chicken pie isn't so great anymore. Before eh, it was more chicken than it was flour. But these days it's more flour than it is chicken. Actually. More potato and flour than it is chicken and whatever. The point is there's no chicken. There's no more chicken this way. And I don't buy their chicken. I hate their chicken. I'm like, this is the rant but some years back, I went to buy Chicken Republic Moi Moi It's Chicken Republic, so that chicken is like their specialty now, obviously I went there, I bought chicken chips and I bought Moi Moi Chicken, I, got, I bought chips and I bought the chicken as well That chicken that I bought was a rookie move because it was so bad I asked her at first, I was like Babe, this chicken, all chicken is not bad though She said, huh, oh, yeah and I bought that chicken like 600 kill, 600 naira or so you guys are here, all oh, the okay, all oh, the okay. I took it to the house, opened it, he was tasting rotten, like you know how rotten chicken tastes now. And I gave it to this Olodo and his brother to throw it out. Do you remember like, those two children? Munachi, you had the child, did you? No, you did. It's only Munachi. Munachi ate it. I know that he ate it. He told me that he ate it. He not started bopping, he was not tasting like yeah, it. That's like the beginning of fever. That's why I almost never buy their chicken. Like even their fried chicken can be so annoying. So guys, you, you, I don't know maybe it's the one that I go to. This one I, I go to. You know, maybe the one on Trasamadi is like that, but maybe the ones all the other branches are okay. But as far as I'm concerned, there are other chicken here. That have, all the chicken I've had here. Is I don't know why they don't have one particular recipe at least. Like Jevni, they have one recipe that they cook. Their coconut rice tastes the same anywhere after they enter Jevni. That's their whole specialty. Maybe the manager here too. 